Hi, hello. Good morning to all. Hi, hello. Good morning to all. Uh, today, now I would like to tell you about the measurement of pressure by using YouTube manometer. The main objective of this session is to measure and calculate the pressure by using YouTube manometer to measure and calculate the local atmospheric pressure and some basic calculation using LabVIEW virtual instrument. As we know, the basics of this YouTube manometer is, here you are observing, if you are observing here, just a second, Yes, yes, here you are observing the YouTube manometer, the input signal is the pressure signal and it is exposed to atmospheric pressure. As you know already the basics of this YouTube, I am not going into detail of the YouTube. Whenever you are giving a pressure signal here, automatically the level of the liquid inside this tube will changes accordingly the height of the liquid column is changes then we can easily find out the pressure of the system or pressure of the signal by using the height for this the basic formula used in the system is pa which is the atmospheric pressure plus G by GC H into rho M is equal to P plus G by GC H into P F where I have clearly mentioned H is the H is the differential height the density of the fluid transmitting pressure is P F and the density of the manometer fluid is P M and where A P A is the atmospheric pressure so one has to satisfy this equation which is very simple. Now we will go and solve this simple equation by using our lab view. So the problem of fifth experiment is like this. A YouTube manometer, an YouTube manometer employs a special ha oil having specific gravity of 0 0.2 of the manometer fluid. So once it is there, we need to add the special oil as like this here the given data the data whatever they have given let's write here this specific gravity specific gravity I can take specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.82 of the manometer fluid one side of the manometer is open to local atmospheric pressure which is having say i can take the local atmospheric pressure pa is equal to 29.3 mm of hg and the difference in the column height h is equal to i can take 0.2 centimeters or plus or minus one and the temperature when exposed to air the temperature is T is equal to 25 degrees centigrade we need to find out the pressure in Pascal pressure in Pascal hence as we know from this formula the gravity of the standard since they have taken acceleration standard gravity the gravity of the earth is 9.87 whereas GC uh, we are taking the reference as 1.0 and the H we have taken 0.2 where the present PA they have given in terms of uh, mm of Hg we need to convert mm of Hg into Pascal so the formula for conversion of mm of Hg into Pascal is some x pascals is equal to 9.922 into 10 to the power of 4 into the input of mm say x or y 
divided by 29.3 pascals. So, if we want to convert mm of Hg to pascals, we should use this formula P pressure in Pa in pascals. And another term we need to calculate is we need to convert this temperature degree centigrade into Kelvin. We know already how to change it. If you add with 273, it will automatically convert into Kelvin. So the specific gravity that's PM can be easily find out by using PM is equal to specific gravity of the fluid into specific gravity of the water and PF can be find out by P by RT where P is the present Pascal's R and T is the temperature where we can find out so by using this formulas formula 1 formula 2 and formula 3 formula 4 by under this final formula formula 5 we need to develop these five formulas in a library now let's open the library first as you know library is open in this library you need to take three formulas p minus p a is equal to g by g c h into p m minus p a where first of all we need to convert we need to convert the pressure of mm of hg into pascal in this reason let's take go to right click numeric and you take a vertical fill in this vertical fill you take it as a controller and whenever you change this one automatically the pressure changes so i am writing here as pressure in mm of hg now i should make whatever the pressure i am giving i should multiply with the 9.922 to 10 to power of 4 hence i'll right click on the block diagram panel i'll go to numeric and i'll take the numeric constant this numeric constant will be double 9.922 into 10 to power of 4 i can write 9 9 2 2 0 i should multiply these two hence again i should go for right numeric take the multiply factor and add a wired connection for these two once i'll take the wired connection after this i should divide the value with 29.3 Hence, I should again right click numeric, take the divide operator, place it here, connect it here, and you need to connect right click, go to numeric, take uh, one numeric point, and change it as 29.3 and uh, give it to the divide. So, by this, you will get the pressure. If you give input uh, pressure in mm of Hg, you will get output in Pascals. Hence, you take a numeric uh, indicator and uh, you write in as pressure in Pascals. So, take this and write it. Pressure in Pascals you got. After this, you are also need to take the temperature. So, the pressure you may take from 0 to 100. For this reason, you change right click here go to properties after going to properties you can change the scale as 0 to 100 that is up to you and even you can change the color inside it by using very different color as you require after this you need to take the temperature input uh, in degree centigrade to kelvin again the same formula we need to add so the input temperature go to right click numeric go to thermometer this right is rename as input temperature input temperature possibly maybe 0 to 100 i have taken that input temperature you should uh, change it to control this input temperature you should in degree centigrade you should convert into kelvin 
again right click go to additional operator and add this with the 273 right click numeric and add 273 273 then you will get output in uh, uh, Kelvin hence I can click on the Pascal's I am pressing control and dragging it and I am connecting it and renaming it as temperature in Kelvin so if you do input temperature the output will be in Kelvin bring here so if you want to cl have a clarity just enlarge it further having a clarity right click on it visible items go to digital display you will find the digital display here in the same way fashion right click on it visible items digital display you will get digital display as well here once you are finding out the president pascals and uh, you have find out the temperature in kelvin now it's time to find out that find out the specific gravity of the fluid given fluid so the specific gravity of the given fluid is 0.82 so we should we should multiply with our uh, given value of uh, water specific gravity of water just for this sake I have already developed a block diagram I'm showing you here means you need to go as per the formulas once you go as per the formulas you will find all things easily I have already developed this file since I am opening that one for your purpose YouTube manometer and I am opening a um, block diagram hence see here I am highlighting this part this part is highlighted as this part you are giving input to pressure in mm you are getting output pressure in pascals in the same way you are giving input temperature you are getting output temperature in kelvin once you got these two part now it's time to do some algebraic manipulations the density of the given fluid you know as you know already that the specific gravity of the fluid they have given as 0.82 so that is the reason why you are taking density as again a variable you can observe in your block diagram as like this the density of the given fluid this is the density of the given fluid the same thing now you will go back and if you see side by side Now, after this, the final pressure can be calculated as the by using the formula P minus P A is equal to P minus P A is equal to G by G C into H P M minus P F. P F again you are calculating as P F that can be easily calculated with the help of the formula P M you are also calculating with the help of the formula PM you have already calculated by using 0.82 into density of the water here that is the one PF you are calculating here PF is equal to P by RT whatever the pressure you are getting that the pressure you have taken here mm -hmm. by R R is 283 at the temperature whatever you have given P by RT so finally you have got the density of the air so again this these are the simple algebraic calculations this is the one you are I have taken to merge the waveform whatever the pressure I am getting I want to see in the in terms of waveform that is the reason why I have taken this one so this is uh, I have not uh, given a detailed one because this is as your assignment I am leaving it to you you please practice and 
and uh, report me the waveforms for your purpose i am running this program just have a look at it so i am i am keeping this program in while loop i have already told how to use while loop in my last class now see once i run this program if i'll give my pressure input as 29.3 mm of hg and the my temperature as 25 degree centigrade i have automatically got pressure in pascal i got automatically kelvin in output and i am giving density of the fluid 0.82 and the density of the fluid we have got here and the final pressure of the system is 100820 pascals and the density of the air is 1.17 even if you can change here automatically the waveforms will change so you need to give me observations by changing the input temperature you please see the handout which i have shared with you and accordingly please post it post back in taxila thank you thank you for watching this video